Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Saad and welcome to Saad classes. In this video, we are going to study topic of physics called lateral displacement. I will explain you this topic with the help of animation. I will also show you a 3D model of a glass slab. We will discuss about the ray diagrams when a light goes from a rare medium to a denser medium and denser medium to a rare medium. So before starting this video, please subscribe the channel so that you can get my latest videos and do share it with your friend if you like it and give it a thumbs up in the last. So let's get started. In front of me is a glass slab. Basically glass slab is a cuboid, a 3D shape. But on a 2D plane, we will see a simple rectangle as you can see on my screen, a blue rectangular figure. I will show you the 3D shape of a cuboid and how a glass slab looks. As you can see, so a glass slab is basically a 3D model. It is having six faces. Now we will see the rules of uh, the refraction. So when the light goes from rare medium to denser medium and denser medium to rarer medium. Now in front of me is a case number one that we have already studied. When a light ray comes from a rarer medium and goes into a denser medium that means it is coming from air and going into a glass light in this case the denser medium is glass it deflected towards the normal we know this phenomenon already that it deflected towards the normal and the next phenomenon is the opposite of it when it goes from glass to air that means from denser medium into the rarer medium it deflects away from the normal so on these basis, we will study our lateral displacement. I have just given the overview of this before coming to that. So now move on to the animation of these two things. I will show you the rare to dancer and dancer to rare with the animation. Then we move to our last animation that is of the lateral displacement. Now in front of us, I have taken two mediums. N1 is my air with a refractive index of 1 and N2 is my glass for example with a refractive index of 2. So air is my rear medium and N2 is a denser medium. Now you can see the incident ray hitting the normal at angle of 23 degree and it is deflected towards the normal in the denser medium and the angle is less than the angle of incidence. The angle of refraction is less than the angle of incidence. Now if, they, if there is no glass involved, so the this ray, the incident ray will move straight like this. I have shown you with the dotted line that if there is no medium difference so the light ray will move straight but due to this difference of the medium the light is shifting towards the normal if i increase the angle of incidence you can see the angle of refraction is also changing so this is the phenomena that we have to see in the case of a lateral displacement now in the last let me move on to the animation of the lateral displacement which is our topic of today's video now in front of me I have taken a glass slab which is my denser medium and surrounding the glass is my air which is a rare medium. Glass is my denser medium I have mentioned it here also and air is my rare medium. I will draw an imaginary line called normal and at this point an incident ray will hit at this point of the normal. This ray is called the incident ray. And the angle which it's make with the normal is called the angle of incidence. We have already studied that this ray when it enters into a denser medium, it, it deflects towards the normal like this. The green ray now it is entering the glass lab. So glass is blinking that this ray now is inside the glass. So it bends towards the normal and this ray is called the refracted ray. And the angle which it's make with the normal is called the angle of refraction. Now what happened? I have drawn another dotted line. If there is no glass slab involved in this case, that means there, there will be only air. So the ray will go straight only. So this will be the original path of the incident ray. But due to this medium change, my ray is deflected and it becomes a refracted ray. Now at this point where the ray is hitting, I draw another normal. And now this is the opposite phenomena. When the ray goes from a denser medium to a rarer medium, it deviates away from the normal. Now this angle R is equal to this angle R because these two normals are parallel to each other and these are the alternate angles. Now when this ray is goes out, it deflects 
away from the normal can you see the red ray it is reflecting away from the normal and this angle and sorry and this ray is called as the emergent ray and the angle which it's make with the normal is called the angle of emergence now what will happen now if you can see the difference between the two paths this is the original path and this is the path that the ray will take if there is no medium involved that is if there is no glass slab involved so that shift in the light rays that shift in the light rays is the distance of the, the shifting difference and we call it with the lateral displacement so this is how we find the the lateral displacement of my incident ray basically a difference between the emergent ray and the original path of the ray which it will take so this is a very important diagram from the exam point of view so just go through it revise it again and do practice it more and more this is all about lateral displacement i hope you like it please subscribe the channel share the video and keep watching sat classes and one more thing i have just put the time stamp in the video of each and every part in case if you want to jump to the part that you are that you are interested so just click that time stamp so you will move to that part thank you